Hello guys, today we'll be covering a 2021 horror film called Dark Spell. Xenia is a young mother who works in a dress shop and helps her clients in fitting their wedding dresses. She has a beautiful infant daughter, Paulina, with her partner, Kier, who's a sculptor. After the birth of her daughter, Kier lost interest in her and leaves her with their only child. One day, when Xenia is unable to reach Kier's phone, she makes a trip to a studio and catches him cheating on her with another woman. She storms out of the studio as Kier is yelling at her to never come back. After that day, she couldn't focus on her job. People around her gave all sorts of relationship advice to her. Her co-worker advises her to pretend that she doesn't see anything and to behave as usual so that he would return back to her, while her mother tells her to forget about him. Without much thought, she tells her that she can't force him to stay with her and love her unless she casts a love spell. But Xenia does not want her daughter to grow up without her father. All she wants is for Kier to be her loving husband and a caring father to their child. Therefore, she visits Kier for the last time and tries talking him into getting back to her. She even tells him she'll be understanding enough to let him meet other girls if that's what inspires him for his art. Hearing this, he retorts, stating that there's no chance of them getting back together just because she gave birth to his child. This enrages Xenia and she hits him, causing his nose to bleed. Then she picks the tissues with which he wiped his blood. Later, she visits a local gypsy named Aza. Aza asks her if she truly loves her husband and if she's ready to pay the price for granting her wish. After confirming Xenia's desperation, she hands her a bottle of salt, two candles, and a piece of paper with a set of instructions to be followed. Lastly, she specifies her to carry out the procedure in the church when a wedding is taking place simultaneously. As per the instruction, she sneaks into her clients Victor and Sonia's wedding and performs the ceremony with chanting of the magic love spell. Lastly, she burns the tissues and eats the piece of meat handed to her by Aza. Shortly after, she experiences a sharp pain in her stomach. And just when the newlywed church is exiting the church, Xenia collapses in front of the mass. Being a doctor, Victor quickly acts and takes her to the hospital. After the treatment, Xenia apologizes to him for ruining their wedding. A while later, Victor catches his wife with Oleg, her ex, in a hospital storage room. That night, Kier comes to her room. Claiming that she had been on his mind the whole time, he asks her to be back with him. He begs for her forgiveness, which she easily does. And then she happily leaves the hospital with him. And a while later, back in his studio, they make love to each other. After that day, Kier has his eyes only for Xenia. She becomes his muse for his work. However, she gets more than she wishes for, and he becomes overly possessive of her. He feels Polina, her mother, and even her job is in between the two of them. A few days later, when Xenia is posing for his work, he convinces her to apply the molding plaster all over her face. He does not allow her to take the plaster mold off even when the baby is crying. Then, after a while, he has sex with her with the mold on. The next day at her workplace, she hears crying behind the dresses and sees a woman in a wedding dress. But somehow, it turns out to be her imagination. That night, unable to find both Kier and Paulina in the house, she rushes to a studio and finds several face masks lying on the floor. Once she locates the baby, she scolds Kier for leaving the baby unattended. Then he expresses his desire for her undivided attention only to him. Hearing this, she snaps back at him, saying that she's not his private property and therefore won't be under his control. In a fit of anger, he breaks one of the masks but immediately apologizes as he did not mean to scare her. The following day, while Xenia is at her work, Kier calls and informs her that her mother took Paulina with her. He asks her to grab lunch with him, but Xenia refuses. Just then, Victor arrives to sort out his refund issue. While they're surfing through the dresses, he holds her hands. But just when he gets distracted, she sees her hands being grabbed by a pair of creepy-looking hands and the pain in her stomach returns. Later, when Victor takes her in his car to drop her home, Kier appears out of nowhere and attacks him. Despite Xenia's explanation, he keeps on hitting Victor, but he's finally subdued by his opponent. After Victor leaves, she asks him to take him to her mother but instead he takes her to his house where she's clearly not welcomed. Over the dinner table, Kier announces that he's going to marry Xenia soon. This comes as quite a surprise to Xenia as well. He then asks his mother to hand him the heirloom ring so that he can propose to her right there. However, when his mother refuses to easily hand over the ring, 
He grabs the nearby scissors and cuts off his mother's finger and takes the ring off. He even hits his father when he tries to interfere and slides the ring on Zenya's finger. Even when his father helps Zenya to run, she has no way to escape. Since he has lied to her about the daughter being with her mother, he takes her back to his studio where he's left the baby. Looking at the crazy Kier, eventually she realizes the horrible mistake she's made in casting the spell. She admits to seeking help from the spirit to cast a spell to make him love her, but she also promises to make things right once he lets them go. But it's too late for her to rectify her mistake as he knocks her out unconscious. Finally, when she regains consciousness, she finds herself covered in the undried molding plaster and sees Kier pouring the plaster over Paulina. Cautiously, she gets out of the bathtub and hits the back of his head. She then grabs the baby and flees from there. On her escape, she almost gets hit by the car, but looking at her condition, the driver gives her a lift. Even then, Kier is not the one to give up as he locates her and chases the car. Fortunately, the driver tactfully makes him lose them. That night, Zenya and Paulina take shelter in Victor's house. The next day, Victor gets essentials for Paulina and makes them stay at his house to take a rest. That afternoon, Sonia has once again come to talk with Victor in the hospital. Just in time, his colleague steps in to help him chase her away. While they're in the elevator, Victor sees Kier's dead body and gets to know that he's passed away in an accident. Then he immediately returns home to inform Zenya. Meanwhile, Zenya, not knowing about Kier's death, is haunted by Kier. Just then, Victor comes and breaks the news to her and takes her to see his dead body. In the mortuary, Zenya asks to be left alone with Kier's body for a while. In front of his body, she blames herself for his misfortune and then repeatedly apologizes. Suddenly, his cold hand grabs her hand, drags her into the mortuary cabinet, and closes the cabinet door. Inside the cabinet, she bangs the door non-stop, and only after great effort, she's able to come out. Later, when she tells Victor about the things happening around her, he tells her that her stress is causing the hallucination. Again comes her recurring pain, and Victor holds her. At the same time, Sonia sees them together and taunts her for being a homewrecker. As a doctor and an acquaintance, Victor could not let Senya leave alone, so he tags along with her to Aza's place. On their way, she admits to casting a love spell on Kier which led all their lives into a nightmare. After meeting Aza, Zenya asks her for a way to fix the mess she's created. Aza herself is hostile towards her for tricking the demon. She tells Zenya that she does not know how to fix it, but they can ask the demon, but only if Victor helps to summon it. Initially, Victor regrets going there and refuses to help, but after Azov provokes him, he agrees to help them. Soon, the demon is summoned with the help of Victor's blood, and it now possesses his body. The demon tells him that only after getting her soul will he be satisfied. He then breaks the mirror and attempts to take Zenya's life with the piece of broken glass. Even Aza is helplessly flung away. Right at that moment, Aza's mother comes to their rescue and begins chanting spells and eventually chases away the demon from Victor's body. She tells her that the magic love spell is irreversible as it is blessed by the devil, but it's still possible to trick the devil. If the love is not true, then the deal with the devil can be called off. However, for that, everyone involved in the wedding previously should be gathered out of their free will, and the ceremony should be performed in reverse order. After experiencing such a supernatural phenomenon on himself, Victor blames Zenya for ruining his wedding and killing Kier. He no longer wants to get involved in her affairs, so he leaves. Straight away, he goes to the hospital and finds Sonia and Oleg together. He opens up to Sonia that they both never truly loved each other, so nothing could have helped them. Feeling that they both are equally guilty, he tells her about Zenya's issue, hoping to fix things together. Yet she refuses to cooperate and walks into the room Oleg was sitting in. But inside, what greets her is Kier in the mask. This encounter scares her gravely. At the same time, Zenya goes to the church alone in an attempt to carry out the ceremony by herself. Nevertheless, she's tortured by the devil. A little while after Az's mom's arrival, Victor, Sonia, and Oleg also arrive at the church. Since all the involved parties are present, Az's mom begins the ceremony. She and Zenya begin to chant the spell in reverse when Zenya is lifted high in the air and slammed into the floor. On the other hand, Kira has come to Zenya's mother's place to take the baby away. Meanwhile, in the church, while everyone's attention is on Zenya, it's Sonya who gets possessed by the devil. She then jumps onto Victor and starts strangling him. Oleg pulls her, freeing Victor, and as they hold her tight, Aza's mother chants spells to get rid of the demon. 
But right at the next second, strangely, the words that come out of Sonia's mouth are of Zenya's mother's desperately searching for her grandchild. Therefore, Zenya and Victor rush to her mother's house. However, they could find neither her mother nor Paulina, but just a clay face mask lying on a table, which is enough to hint to her about their whereabouts. Quickly, they reach Kier's studio, which is full of human statues covered in black clothes. And in the middle is her mother with her legs nailed to the floor. And in the distance, she can hear the baby crying. While Victor helps her mother, she goes to find her daughter. But little do they know that it's Kier disguised as her mother. Soon, Zenya finds her mother and her daughter hiding under a table and she takes them out of the building safely. But when she returns back to Victor, he's already in bad shape with all the assault from Kier. Looking at Victor struggling for his life, she agrees to be with Kier and asks him to take her soul. Right at the next second, she finds herself beside the bathtub filled with molding plaster. And after a last goodbye kiss on Victor's lip, she submerges into the plaster. With her last breath, the fleeting image of happily growing her daughter with Victor appears in front of her eyes. The movie ends with Zenya walking down the aisle in her black wedding dress, and smiling Kier is waiting for her at the altar.